Hello and welcome to Sweden and Martina. We are very excited for all of your implantology needs. My name is Melissa Safe and I will be your point of contact. Let's go through this journey together. So the two implant designs that we are offering are Premium One and Shelta. The main difference between both is that Premium One is a cylindrical implant while Shelta is a tapered implant. Let's go through Premium One in detail. Premium One is a cylindrical implant. It starts off as a straight walled implant and then it tapers off at the last three apical notches. That's why you can also call it a hybrid implant uh, because it is a hybrid of a straight and a tapered implant together. Because of its hybrid feature, Premium One can be placed in all types of bone, especially in dense bone. Shelta is a tapered system. It has two different designs within the same system. One is called Shelta and the other is called Shelta SL. I'm going to go through the main differences of both, starting with Shelta. Shelta is a tapered implant, but the additional feature that it has over Shelta SL is a rounded apex, ideal for sinus lifts. The SL has a more progressive thread, uh, ideal for uh, maxillary cases, softer bone, and immediates. That is not to say that you can't use both implants in all different surgical cases, but they have specific features that aid in specific types of surgeries. Now let's move on to the next, um, the next part that I'd like to stress on is our collar. We are talking specifically about our UTM collar surface. This is quite important because our implants are collared and the collar is a UTM micro-threaded surface. So it is a machined um, and roughened surface and the idea behind this is to give you the versatility of placement either subcrustally or supracrustally. This uh, type of surface will um, osseointegrate with um, subcrustal placement and it will also attach epithelial cells for a beautiful gingival. Our connection is called collex connection. It is an internal hex with an added value or an added benefit of an extra lip that you can see right here. And the idea of this lip is uh, to create a active fit between the prosthetic and the implant and the implant and the prosthetic and therefore creating a dual lock that creates a micro leakage seal and a more stable prosthetic over time because the lateral forces are spread onto the entire implant body as opposed to just the screw so you have a stronger screw connection over time and less screw breakage and less screw rotation. So you have these two added benefits from having this extra lip versus a, just a regular um, internal hex connection or conical connection. The next part we are going to talk about is uh, the prosthetics, is that we have one size fits all connection uh, for all of our implant systems, whether it's the premium one system or the shelter system. The idea behind this is to simplify the prosthetic so, you know, if it is, um, if it is a case that uh, a surgeon is placing the implant and um, a general practitioner or a restorative dentist is, is restoring it, then there is no miscommunication or lack of communication on sizing. It really doesn't matter what uh, surgical uh, diameter was placed. The prosthetic connection is going to be one size fits all. This also provides a platform switch for the larger diameter implant. So let's go through that one by one. Um, the first here is the 3.3 connection, which we uh, actually regard as its own, and therefore it's going to have its own uh, pl platform and prosthetics. But our main sizes or diameters are the 3.8, the 4.25, and the 5.0. And this connection will all take a 3.8 prosthetic across the board. Again, so on the 3.8 over here, you will have a matching platform. On the 4.25 behind me, you will have a platform switch and on the 5.0 behind me as well you will have a larger platform switch therefore the largest two diameters the 4.25 and the 5.0 are both platform switched 
Now, we also have the option of a platform match, and that's why you can see up there in the chart that there are two additional corresponding um, colors. If you'd like to platform match with the 4.25 and the 5.0, it is certainly an option. However, the main design of the system is that it is a platform switch in order to simplify the prosthetic and give you the added benefits of a platform switch. We offer a very wide range of prosthetic solutions. Uh, starting from the healing abutments, which you can find in anatomical, different heights, uh, and different emergence profiles. Uh, we move on to uh, different angulations of stock abutments, uh, different angulations of multi-unit abutments, uh, UCLA abutments, locators, uh, ball attachments, and finally our digital solutions and CAD CAM restorations uh, with scan bodies, um, intraoral scan bodies uh, for the office and laboratory scan bodies for the lab, uh, tie bases, so on and so forth. So there is a full um, uh, prosthetic solution range that you will find with us. Let's go through the Premium One surgical sequence. We're going to start at the top left-hand corner of the surgical kit with a precision drill. The next box is the guide drill box with two different guide drills that can be used throughout the surgical sequence. Following that is the pilot drill white box. The pilot drill is a 2.0 diameter. And as you can see below the drill, there are multiple stoppers that are length or height based that you can use in helping you uh, during the, the drilling sequence. The next is the intermediate drill with a 2.5 diameter, also equ equipped with stoppers. And now we're going to move on to our final diameter corresponding to the implant diameter. So we have the 3.3, the 3.8, the 4.25, and the 5.0. As you can see, on the top of the surgical kit, uh, the 3.3 diameter drill is, uh, or the 3.3 implant drill is actually a 2.8 diameter. The 3.8 drill is a 3.0 diameter. The 4.25 implant drill is a 3.4 diameter and the 5.0 implant drill is a 4.25 diameter. All drills are color-coded based on the implant diameter. However, you are not to skip uh, drills if doing a larger size, meaning we do have to follow the sequence one drill at a time until we get to the final drill. The final drill before implant placement is called the countersink drill. As you can see, it's quite short, and the purpose of this drill is to create the space for the collar. The additional purpose of the countersink drill is to reduce crustal bone stress. There's only three diameters of this drill, the 3.8, the 4.25, and the 5.0. Now we are ready for implant placement, and you're going to use the insertion tools called Easy Inserts. Um, there's three of them. Two are corresponding to using the motor handpiece, and one is for the torque wrench ratchet. The kit is also equipped with extenders, drivers, parallel pins, and multiple different tools that can help you complete surgery very easily. The Shelta tapered system has the same first three sequences, the precision drill, the pilot drill, and the guide drill. So the only difference here is because the shelter system is tapered, then the drills are going to be tapered. And therefore, they are pre-measured to also be length-based. So when we prepare our site with the precision drill and then the pilot and then the guide, we will decide what height we are placing and what diameter and follow the sequence straight forward into the final drill that we need. So if we are preparing a 5.0 implant with 10 millimeters, we are going to move from 3.8 by 10, 4.25 by 10, and 5.0 by 10. Finally, you can use the bone taps if you have dense bone. And as a final step before implant placement, we will use the countersink in order to create the space for the collar to sit. We will use the insertion tools on the top right hand corner to pick up the implant and place it. And then finally, you have parallel pins, drill extenders, and multiple surgical drivers to help you with easy surgery.